there. And once you make it to the South Shore, about another eight to nine minutes to get from the causeway to Chapatula Street. Thank you, Brantley. And with the uh, severe weather tearing through Louisiana yesterday, Slidell, of course, got the worst of it. Yeah, later in the morning, a tornado tore through the city. And while there were no serious reported injuries, our Kenny Lopez is live to give us a look at the damage. Good morning, Kenny. Good morning, Amy and LBJ. And uh, what we're seeing a lot of right now is tree branches like this that have fallen when that tornado ripped through Slidell right here on Old Spanish Trail. We're also seeing, I'm gonna step out of the way so you can see more of the damage here. We see a, this apartment building here on the left side. The roof was ripped off. We also see down trees. We see cars damaged. And it, there's an eerie feeling right now in the Air. It's very quiet right now. We don't see a lot of people out and about, but when the sun comes up, we are expecting the people to come out to start the cleanup efforts. Now, yesterday, Mayor Greg Cromer said that the cleanup efforts is going to take some time, but they're hoping within the next six months that all the people living on this street could get their lives back to normal. Also, government officials with St. Tammany Parish have um, sent out a uh information to residents that might have had damage here yesterday send them an email at damage at stp.gov.org and that way they'll know where the damage is and they'll be able to help anybody that had some damage here in Slidell. we'll be bringing you more live updates throughout the morning back to you lbj and amy Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. And like Kenny said, the recovery work is just getting started and underway in St. Tammany Parish following yesterday's tornado. So all St. Tammany schools will remain closed today while home and business owners clean up. Our Mallory Smith has more.